But when J. Cole dropped, I did hit the group chat. Mm -hmm. uh, I was low-key first in the group chat to talk about Cole. He you was. I was waiting we, on Reggie to get in her, he her was, bag. You was feet out. We was letting it breathe a little bit. Nah, that's <laughs> it. All thirsty. All thirsty. I'm not. I'm that's not what Cole nigga. said. All no, thirsty. No, it's funny. You no, get... no, no, no. What Cole actually said was... <clears throat> what do you say? My friends went to war. I walked away with all their blood on me. Reggie. This nigga ever been at a shootout? I love Reggie. I don't, wait, Savon stepped on my rollout. That's how I want to introduce the topic. <laughs> okay, continue. Sorry. Because what did he mean? What did he mean by that? Uh, I just <sighs> okay. Where do we start? Look at okay. all of us just taking deep breaths. Okay, shit. I'm so, gonna go last. I have Music Man and J Cole Woman. That's a sick lineup. Savon, <laughs> I don't know. There's just so many things to talk about. Like, okay, so for the new listeners, I'm sorry yeah. to say this every time, but I, J. Cole's my favorite rapper of all time. And honestly, I, call me, like, not purist, whatever the fuck. Like, I, he's, still, <laughs> he's still my favorite rapper. Yeah. I agree that what he did in April was very, very damaging. I did not support it. I wasn't, like, uh, a J. Cole apologist for that. Like, I was like, why the fuck did he back out of the battle, drop a song, delete yeah. it? Like, I was not on board with that. But... I don't know. Like, there's just so much I want to say about this because it's like. Um, what, what do you What do you think the premise of this of this track was? Right. So, what is the track? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> poor, poor. Bad potting, potting. Sorry. Are you good? Poor Antonio. Poor, by J Cole. Poor Antonio. Yeah. So. Which is kind of like a tongue sister. I can't say that. Poor. Poor, poor, poor Antonio. Antonio. Poor, poor Antonio. Poor Antonio. Is that an actual poor? And maybe we need to do like the science the on what on Poor that. Antonio is. Because yeah, there's probably is a reason why he named it that. Mm -hmm. But he said a lot in it. The first verse was. Um, him providing background into his upbringing and why he thinks the way he does. And then the second verse, which everyone w fo was focusing on, he basically addressed the Kendrick and Drake beef right. and said, like, he explained why he backed out. And so there were a lot of mixed reviews. Even me as well, I don't know definitively what I think about it because while I do appreciate that, like, he spoke his truth and, like, he really... And it's his own song. Like, he can... I know there's a... I guess we could start here. There's a lot of people who are saying, like... Yo, it's been like six months. You're over explaining yourself. Have you guys seen that? Like, I've seen a, a lot of that. A lot of people yeah. are like, "What yeah. is J Cole saying? Like, he, why is he even saying anything now, bro? It's done. Like, both. Like, the battle is over. You backed out. Why are you over explaining yourself?" And when I first saw that on Twitter, I thought it was funny. Like, there were there were memes <laughs> of people like like a cartoon or something, and like someone's like screaming into the abyss, and like no one's paying attention. People were like <laughs> posting those memes, and I thought it was funny. I laughed as a J Cole fan. I even like I laughed at it. But now I'm just like, I mean. It's his own song, and he's just getting his shit off and really getting things off his chest. And it's like it's it's hip hop. Like he's really like opening up and explaining himself. So I'm like, damn, he can't even like speak his truth yeah. on his own song. I'll you say know? that. Like I saw a lot of people say, oh, why is he putting in the music? Are we that far gone from music that we don't like when artists respond to things in music? Now, if you're upset with the what where he, he said, what he said, or where he took it. I'm not mad at that, but mm -hmm. rappers are supposed to put their messages out through the music. Mm -hmm. right? Like, I'm okay with yo, that. Quick uh, little thing. Port Antonio is actually a city in Jamaica. I don't know if there's any re uh, relevance to it, mm -hmm. but... Port Antonio, yeah. city in Jamaica. It's That's one of those things where the greats, they oh. leave us little nuggets. But I don't, you, I don't maybe, know. Maybe he recorded it there because the, the cover art did look like he was not in the States. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm not mad at that at all. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I know... So for me, when I first heard it, I listened to it about a dozen times. I disagree with Parks. In Parks, I love you. Obviously, I've seen Parks mad. Like what he said. Parks is one of the first, like first people who really embraced me in a real way. Like Aww. Parks instilled so much confidence in me as just a professional individual, somebody in this space. Like I'm forever in debt to Parks. I don't know if I ever told him that, but whatever, he'll hear this. But I wholeheartedly disagree with Parks. He said he was over the dead president's loop oh, on the podcast. Yeah, I heard him yeah, say that. that. Dead presidents uh, is one of the greatest loops, I'm down. one of the greatest samples. I'm down. Wait, you're down with Parks? No, no, no. I'm down with oh, Parks. I, I was about to say, I'm, oh, I'm, oh, no, no, I'm down with dead presidents being played and used whenever. That, like, please <laughs> continue to keep that please, alive. Please. Because I think there's going to be a generation who may not even and understand what, what dead president yeah. is. You and know not what I'm just saying? that, like, that's hip hop. Like, dudes used to do the yeah, mixtape yeah, culture, get yeah. on somebody else's beat. You know Speaking what I'm saying? Speaking of like, that, so the reason why I love the song itself, well, we could dive into what he actually said, but 
but the song yeah. itself, I love listening to it because it really reminded me of like old J. Cole. And okay. not just saying as a typical nostalgia thing. He literally did a Dead Presidents 2 on the warm up. So I'm just like, oh my God, I remember like when you first discovered Cole? Like that's what it made me feel like. And just to like put this in there as well, like um, it's a sample of the iconic Dead Presidents sample is A Garden of Peace by Lonnie Listen Smith. It's the piano part. And when you really listen to that song, the original song, it's so like moving it's beautiful it's beautiful but yeah, yeah so that's a real sample so yeah i just wanted to say i disagree with parks on that yeah. um but i do think it's a great song i think mm -hmm. j cole the one thing about j cole and 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 this is the thing that i took away from this song right j cole is challenging hip-hop and hip-hop fans as human beings right Mm. Because what we've never listen, nah, just listen I to see me. that. Yeah, yeah, I see. What he, you're doing. We've we've never seen anything like a J Cole. Okay, I'm we, you we we've yeah. never seen anybody as <laughs> transparent. We've never seen anybody as um, forthcoming <clears throat> to kind of die on a sword for a false cause. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is J Cole is a a rapper's rapper. Yeah. Your MC's favorite MC. Your, your MC's favorite MC's because we understand his pen, you can't question it. His cadence, his delivery, everything about J. Cole says I am and can be number one. But how J. Cole moves is so like, grounded mm -hmm. that it challenges the person who looks at him like he is number one. And so for somebody like me, when I hear this song... The first reaction is, nigga, shut the fuck up, please. <laughs> no, for real. Like, the first reaction is, dude, like, I don't want to hear you talk about the shit anymore. Uh, um, you yeah. bowed out. I'm calling him dramatic, all that stuff. Dramatic. Um, <laughs> you, you're, you're not understanding your position in this position. Like, there's so many things. The first thought is, like, why are you mentioning Drake? Are you subconsciously dissing Kendrick? Like, there's so many initial thoughts, but then when you really break it down yeah. and it's layered, it's like, oh, wait, we've never seen, and this is hard to say in any genre, mm -hmm. but we've never seen this. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about J. Cole. We've never seen anybody who had the potential, who sold us a false dream of being number one, Actually being in this position and saying, no, I, I, I don't want it, but I still feel like I am him. Mm -hmm. We've never seen that. Normally, yeah, when you like feel like you're him, mm -hmm. you show us <laughs> that you think that yeah. you're him. Which he has done. He always raps about, like, I'm the greatest right now. Like, he has, spe like, specifically said, like, I am the best. So it's not like we're... <laughs> Just assuming this or just putting that on, he has actually said for the last decade he thinks he's the best. But I think, like, it, the exact bar that I think where Savon is coming from is J. Cole said on the song, they stripped me of my spot and now I'm finally free. I feel like you either hate that line or you love that line. I I'm, I'm I thinking hate Alex it. hates I, I hate like it, it because, okay, who should go? It. Okay, the reason why I like it is because he's basically like, um, like, I am done chasing this, like, I'm the GOAT, I'm the GOAT, and I need everyone to think I'm the GOAT. And now he finally feels free. He's like, yo, I get, I bowed out, I get that. Might have been looked at as embarrassing to you guys, but I don't care anymore. Like, I just want to rap. And some people thought that was corny, some people thought that was dramatic, but he's really saying his true thoughts on this song. And it's like, just because you don't want to get into this bloodbath for, like, the crown, does that make him not a great rapper anymore? Like, But see, that's why yo, I think he's challenging yeah. hip-hop. And, and Alex, I'm going to let you go. Mm -hmm. But that line specifically is why I think he's challenging us as humans and as hip-hop fans. Because as a human, I can understand, <clears throat> holy shit, you feel like a weight is lifted off of your shoulders. You feel like, oh, my God, I, I no longer... <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> no, nah, I get it. The weight yeah, of the crazy. world. I'm just saying, as a yeah, human, word. I can understand. Because we human first. That we we <laughs> human first. J Cole human. Yeah. So I'm finally free. I don't have to like compete. <laughs> I don't like this condescending tone, Alex. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I this get nigga, it. This nigga up a hundred million dollars and say he finally free. <laughs> <laughs> free of the. <laughs> Oh. When, did, when did he mention money? Oh, shit. No, see, that's the thing, Free though, Free right? of the expectation, Alex. Yeah, that he gave to us. Yeah, and now he's grown. He's pushing 40. He's like, you know what? I'm done with all this braggadocious shit. Like, see, see, I'm okay with anybody being grown, right? Mm -hmm. I love mat uh, maturation. I love someone evolving and changing, being a better version of themselves. 
But I hate how he's acting as if wanting to be number one doesn't come with being battle tested. And that's really what I, that's the first thing I fully grasped from this song, right? Though I thought it, not just that, people have been saying, we've been reaching up here, saying if there's any uh, qualms between him and Drake, I guess we weren't reaching. Uh (laughs) And he really is dying on the hill of, yo, I could be the best, but I don't got to prove to y'all the best. You know what it sounded like to me? Hey, yo, I seen you in that cooking competition. Yeah, nah, um, I wasn't in the cooking competition, but this is how you bake a cake. Nah, I ain't getting the cooking competition because the kitchen would have been too hot for me. Mm-hmm. But yo, let me teach you how to bake a cake. And it's like, dog, mm-hmm. this is, you are the last person who should be advising anyone. I, 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 quite frankly, I don't think this is the time to do it. Like I said, I love the fact that he's doing it through the music, through the rap. That's what's up. But, bro, just showcase to me that you still want to rap at a high level, which you have. But, dog, don't try to turn this as if, like, Kendrick or Drake mm-hmm. are bad people for the position that they chose, right? Unfortunately, there's competition in everything, right? There's competition in sports. For there's sure. competitions in your, in your uh, everyday life. Work. Work. This is what I pulled as well, right? Mm-hmm. Sometimes you got to fight with your friends. And I think that's healthy. Sometimes you gotta okay. fight, sometimes you gotta fight with your friends to get to the other side. It could be <laughs> a healthy competition, but his point was, yo, this is this was not just a healthy rap battle. It got very, very nasty. Yeah. So it's like I like the cake cake competition analogy mm-hmm. that you said. It's like but this wasn't just about baking a cake, though. It was maybe it was like a very, very, very dirty competition. He's like, you know what, yo, I, d- I actually don't want to be a part of this, guys. Like, and I, I do agree with you, Alex, where he was being very like, he's advising people on like, oh, you guys just want to clicks, you know, like that that part of the song where he's like, you guys just want to clicks and yeah, views, yeah, yeah. and that's why you guys battle. Like that part, I was like, all right, all right. But all right. when he said that, it sounded like he was only talking to one party. When he said that line, I think it's about, talking to both. I, me, when I first right, heard right. it, yeah. it sounded like he was only speaking to Kendrick. He could have been talking to both sides. Mm-hmm. It sounded like he was only talking to Kendrick because after that, the only person he mentioned by name was, was Drake. Drake. Yeah. And he made it a point to say, hey, Drake, I fuck with you. Um, I'm... But he apologized again. If we really <laughs> mincing words, like he damn near apologized to Drake again. Like, yo, I know you supported me. Mm-hmm. I'll never be ashamed to let you know, like, I'm here for you, like... He apologized twice. The first time on stage in in this song, it sounds like another subliminal apology to Drake. Yeah. 